Well, the Packers didn't show up until late in the game, and by then it was too little too late. Packers are out. Falcons are in. That's all right. Packers had a good run. So, uh, I showed the product of the day, right? There it is. I need Wheeler's help. I hope I didn't break it, but I can't get it back in there right. Old technology fools dealer on the crazy picker life with Wheeler dealer and banana peeler. Welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. It's early morning dealer here on the crazy picker life. Well, I couldn't sleep very well. So came down here and uh, got myself prepped for the school day tomorrow and did some other things. And now I've printed my orders that came in over the weekend. There's a bunch of them. Most of them are small camera items. We sold the uh, main body of the telescope and the tripod going to Minnesota for just about $600 plus shipping, so that's a good sale. And we showed a good product, uh, that camera that I can't get closed, that sold for a couple hundred dollars, that's a good sale. The rest of them, for the most part, are $20 sales average. I've got a whole bunch of them here. I'm gonna get those packed. I'm not gonna show you every single one and talk about it. I did do a little uh, packing on Saturday evening to get a head start, so that was good. I'm going to rapid fire through these. We're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show them to music. Dun dun dun. Okay, that's the bulk of the orders there. I had one uh, UPS that I had did, uh, I don't remember what it was, but I guess it's that sign, that Zenith sign. Did that on Saturday. I've also, uh, sort of a glutton for punishment, but I need to pack up this uh, tripod for the telescope tonight. And then below it is the big body of the uh, telescope in a case. And I found a U-line box that sort of fits it. I've got to figure out how to put this stuff in this tote in there with it, though, safely. So I'm going to pack up those two things, and then I'm wrapping it up, and I'm going to go home and get some sleep. All right, so part one. Part one of a two-part day. Monday is just about over. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap a few things up. It's 4.30 a.m. I've been here working since midnight. Uh, no coffee, no energy drinks. Real, real, real. <laughs> the morning is real. I'm gonna go home and try to get some sleep before it gets noisy around my house. These are good to have going out. Those are boxes coming in, those three. 
those big three are boxes going out. That's going out. More later. Okay, here's Wheeler. I'm hoping I didn't break this camera. Yeah, well, let's see here. Because it's off the track. Yep, I see that. And then I don't know how to get that track back and get it to stay. Like that. It kind of bends in there, but yep. that noise I don't like. Yeah. Oof. I remember this. I was having the same issue. Yeah, so who gets it? Are they going to like that noise? Now it's just this thing. There's teeth on the bottom of this, and those connect to the track, and you're just pushing those teeth. You're forcing the teeth. Oh, yeah, I'm sure as mentioned, the listing. This is really tight. That is the whole issue. This knob here is Goobered ridiculously up. tight. Yeah. So that's the whole. Well, that noise is not. Well, that's because this thing is so tight that you can't actually. <laughs> and there's a bend right below that lens when it shuts in there, though, too. Yeah. But that track likes to come up and back out when you start closing it. Yeah. Remember, I figured this out at some point. Okay, I gotta get you off camera and let you do it. Okay, I can pack this up now. Apparently, the uh, mechanism that folds it up and bends it in there is. Uh, old and needs some attention so Wheeler crammed it back in there and we'll go with it hopefully hopefully Mr. France likes it it's a nice camera had to take the big van today got those big uh, UPS packages and a bunch today and the orders keep coming in which is uh, super good it's feeling a little fatigued I, uh, I've been really trying to cut down some of my unhealthier habits in the new year here and by trying it's more like doing so it's not like I'm backsliding too much I'm uh, limiting my beer drinking to one one day a week really and I think I'm gonna even limit it further for a while I want to get my running really going and it's funny how uh, how tuned up you need to be to get that extra oomph to get out and, and actually get some exercise it's uh, there's a reason there's not a lot of people any age getting out regularly and doing exercise but certainly if I'm looking out around my town and looking to see who's running and all that kind of stuff even crossfit and all all that stuff obviously every 10 years you go the 20 somethings are out there the 30 somethings there's less of them the 40 somethings there's less of them the ones that are looking at 50 there's less of them so it all figures in and then today i haven't had any caffeine yesterday i had a coffee today none and I pulled a nap, get up and pack, and then back to sleep for a while and get up. And I'll tell you what, my body's my body's like, hey, feel pretty good in some ways and pretty bad in others. So I'm gonna get down and get my packages in. Typical Monday school with the kids. Gotta run a UPS later. get back in the office it looks like to me I think I, I did a pretty good job on packing the orders that came in from 6 a.m. this morning until now which is 3 o'clock what is that seven hours we've got good order flow because I think I've got uh, at least 10 more orders that have come in maybe 12 so that's all that's all good i i targeted my sales for the weekend all to enter all to end today about now and so that always that always works pretty well and this time around i think it worked really well all right i'm gonna get this stuff done we'll be back in the office in a little while okay well back in the office round two has officially begun i've got uh i think i counted them 14 14 more orders 12 more orders 14 i don't know <laughs> you know we're usually pretty busy 
So if I ever seem like I don't appreciate that we get orders, I do appreciate that we get orders. It's just regular. We don't have a whole lot of ups and downs. When we have a five or six order day, I start getting worried and, and really it, it only happens, I don't know, once a month, once every six weeks, eight weeks. It doesn't happen very often. So I don't know all the different things that we buy and sell. It just tends to uh, even out and even out typically means pretty busy. And there's a number of reasons for that. I mean, we've been at this for a while and so we tend to buy a lot of good stuff. Um, we price it right. We list it simply, simple listings, clear listings. We have an established uh, business model. I've got Wheeler listing like a crazy person from time to time. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I thought I did all right. I put so what does Wheeler do? He trumps it. I put $2,300 up there and he put mega dollars and mega items. And I haven't added that up yet, but we're having a pretty good, uh, pretty good listing month. So we'll talk to Wheeler uh, in a little while. And again, you know, I appreciate everything he does, of course, too. We work well together. I don't know what I'm going to have for a total of orders today, but the total packed today is going to be a lot. <laughs> feeling fatigued already I'm going to uh, oh yeah one more thing so if you ever hear if you ever see sort of like a skip cut right in the middle of when I'm talking that typically is my um, generic battery going out on the camera the uh, the Canon battery with the Canon camera here gives me uh, some notice when it's going out the generic one doesn't so I guess you got to pay 50 bucks for the Canon battery if you want to get all the perks so um, I'm going to pack some orders, starting with a fresh tote over there, a zeroed out tote. Pack some orders. Before that, I'm going to pick out the uh, sale item of the day, the cool item of the day, and uh, film that quick segment and get that up. And maybe we'll talk to Wheeler a little bit. And I don't know, I'm hoping... I'm hoping to energize myself and do at least a couple listings. It's good to do a couple every day, even though, I don't know, long day already for me today. So let me do that. Of course, I've been wondering when my uh, beer club beers were going to be showing up. I better get those in the fridge in case I would like to enjoy one later. Uh, EKU, Kullenbacher Brow Tradition, 11% alcohol. Whoa, that's a clunker. Good grief. World Classic Michael Jackson, Germany. I don't have any idea what the, all that means, but when I do drink these for real, I sit there and read the whole bottle at least once. It's interesting. The 11%'s got me a little concerned. That's heavy. Here's Winter Storm Imperial ESB. Heavy Seas. This is by Heavy Seas. Whoa. Drinking out on Heavy Seas. That doesn't necessarily sound like the best idea. 7.5% alcohol. You get four beers, three, three of each. Now, four different, three of each. Sudwork Brewing Company, Rye of the Lager, California Craft Beer, 7% alcohol. And, oops, we get another EKU Pilsner from Germany, 4.9% alcohol. So, we've got the, the EKU Light, and then we've got the EKU 28 Unfiltered. Ooh, that's, that's the heavy. Well, that ought to be good. I'll put those in the fridge and uh, maybe enjoy one of those later. Get my packing done. Okay, we got the packing done. Lots of little little goobers there. And then there's the UPS, which is the uh, basketball switcher buzzer thing. I think that's going to be it for packing for right now. I don't know. Um, thinking about taking tomorrow off. We did six days last week. Took Sunday off. 
I think I need another day off. I might come down here and do a video and do a couple things tomorrow, but I'm gonna get some listing. Anybody wanna see? Anybody wanna see Wheeler frustrated? What's up, man? So Wheeler, I hear you got your own uh, eBay account and you had yeah. and you had a problem. Well, you're so thrilled I sold my accordion for way more than you sold to me for, and now I'm having all kinds of issues. So it's great. So you you had this accordion. I picked a couple accordions up last summer, and you bought one and used it and liked it, and then you listed it and sold it for a good amount. How much? Four hundred bucks, and it was two hundred dollars off the asking price already. You already weaseled me down yeah well he's some sort of guy that buys seems to, and, seems to know something about accordions buys and sells them or whatever mm -hmm. and so now you don't check that ebay account very often and and the thing is i took down my auction when i went to the denver trip and then after that why would i check it i have nothing on there so so you know the guy followed up he wasn't happy about some things he left you a negative and now you're left with what? 90% positive feedback. 90%? They doesn't calculate feedbacks. Like if I have 150 feedbacks, they don't calculate it all bad. They calculate what I've sold in the last year. So yeah. I've sold 10 items in the last year. That's great. So, and then the, the thing you said to me, which I, I had to have a little discussion with you about, is it's not your fault. No, that was a total... Because here's what I, my thinking on that. It's not my fault that I didn't ch see that because I never checked that account. I don't know because that doesn't. I'm not saying that the whole issue wasn't my fault. I was saying that it wasn't my fault. That I hadn't checked that because where am I supposed to know? And then what did I tell you? Well, it is my fault. Take responsibility. But you were talking about the accordion sales and no, no, the whole well, the whole thing. I mean, okay. you. I'm saying I didn't check it. That was yeah, but the 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 mistake. No see now, here's here's what the real deal is. You made a mistake in not checking your account. Yeah. Because you assumed there would be no activity since there was nothing oh, listed. Think about it. I didn't have a Listen to me. In my head. Listen to me. Yeah. You you didn't have a single thought. You assumed there wouldn't be a problem. You put it to the back of your mind. That still doesn't mean that it's not your fault. You still are responsible for it. That's that's a hard pill to swallow, but that is what the last in line person has to swallow. Well, I'm responsible for that it has issues and I didn't respond to it in a timely manner. I'm not responsible that I didn't I don't know what that the thing is, when I said that, I don't know exactly what I meant by it. So it, it, wasn't, well, a, it wasn't an educated statement. A lot of my statements are educated statements, and you take them to be educated statements and then roast me on them. No, 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 no. I this, I'm not trying to yeah, roast you, but I'm trying to help you turn the corner that all this thing, this whole deal sucks. Mm -hmm. The only one involved on that account is you, and you have to take responsibility. So it sucks. No, I say that. Great. Well, right. But... That, the reason if, if you want to call this a roast, which I don't think it is, it's more I'm just talking. If you want me to turn the camera off, I will. Okay, whatever. I have to deal with these things on our other four accounts that are active all the time. And I'm the one that has to suck up the, the negatives or the uh, double shipping fee return fees comes out of my pocket. So this is what you have to take as the last in line. That's why yeah. I'm saying it hits you and it's like, oh, but you're the one that's there. So you get so in a year's time, this negative will drop, but the prize will be on the road. I won't again sell anything then. Well, that's so not I'm gonna have to start a new account. I'm gonna have to start from zero. That's no, no, do. that's not true. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? You start selling a few things that you don't care so much about. You do a what's nice that? listing. Yeah. And you sell it for a reasonably good amount. Somebody will take a chance on you. You get a good feedback. You'll start to come back systematically. Yeah. You can't open another account. Here's why. Yeah. I mean, when you're 18, listen, when you're 18, you can do anything you want. Yeah. But that account right now is under my name. Yeah. Even though it's your account. Yeah. <laughs> so... All right, I'm gonna turn this camera off I'm and talk to Wheeler. Well, I sell because I don't have anything I don't care about. Like I'm gonna to talk to Wheeler a little bit. Sorry to put this on camera if it yeah. bothered anybody, but it's uh, it's part of learning about how this whole thing works. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, the, I don't like to put these things on camera. Wheeler is a good kid and a young adult, gonna be 18 soon. He's learning a lot of things, but if you've ever had teenagers. Or if you think back, obviously when you're a teenager, 
you have your you have your agenda and then it doesn't always line up with everything else wheeler just um stretched to buy these two cameras that he wanted and so his money's super tight and so the account attached to that ebay is super uh tight and drained and he's got a bill coming up um, for some of the things that he sold and so he wanted to list some things on there. Now he's stressed out because he's got 90% feedback, which is not good. And this guy, you know, torched him. And, uh, you know, he dropped the ball. I can see how it would happen. But if you're selling things, you got to have a way to monitor those emails or something. Uh, Wheeler has so many things going on that... His output can be really good, but the problem is there's there's so much going on that there's this inefficiency. There there can be this scatteredness. Um, I'm really I do help him focus, and he needs that genius, but scattered. I, you know there are there are examples of of high profile people like that throughout history. You know, Wheeler's like that. My dad was like that. I don't need to reveal all my family secrets, but my dad was a genius. He had 15, 10, 20, 30 patents. And he just understood things in a way in his mind that were amazing, yet he was really scattered in a, in a lot of other things. Um, Wheeler has inherited some of that genius um, but, but scattered. So a couple things I try to do. I try to let him be a kid. I try to be straight with him. I try to turn the corner on certain, certain situations so that he can learn and I'm here for him. But you know, I'm not perfect either. I'm, I'm kind of tough. <laughs> like, a, you know, what are the different cuts of meat? I'm, I'm certainly not a filet mignon. I'm more like a rump roast. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. compassion is not my number one trait, although I work really hard at being empathetic, compassionate, a good listener, a good, uh, you know, a good father and all that. It's not my number one thing. It's hard for me. I love Wheeler. I'll continue to help him. Okay, well, I got to see what time it is here. That's one thing. 10.16. Hey, I got some time to list a couple things. I got all those orders packed. I do need to uh, crank up the 10%, uh, 11%, 13% percent off sales again. That drives our business, and I like to keep our business driving. I can't find the damn button. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to list a couple things. I'll show you what I list. Okay, I'm really not very ambitious right now, but I'm going to keep doing it here. Uh, fun magnets. I couldn't find a whole lot on these. Somebody had some listed for next to nothing. I'm just going to put these at auction. I'm going to start it at $9.99, $9.99 plus shipping. Try to get somebody to bite on that. That's all I really want to do. Get my money back. I think I paid 5 bucks. Along with, uh, I bought these sort of as a tandem thing to those buttons that I put up there. And I, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Frankly, list that. Okay, I forgot I had these. I picked these up uh, locally. I don't remember what I paid. Maybe $25 each, something like that. I'm going to list this for $89.99. Plus shipping, I've got another one, which I'll show in a minute. It looks very, very similar. In fact, it's the same sign, just, uh, you know, different scratches in different places. Listed. Sign number two. $90 plus shipping. That's what I listed it for. We'll see where it goes. Okay, last uh, item here. This is International Harvester. This is some sort of a uh, cover panel on a tractor. I, I don't know exactly where it came from, but it does make a nice uh, advertising sign type display. I'm going to list that for $60 plus shipping. 
I probably paid 10 bucks, 15 bucks, probably 10 bucks. Okay, four listings. I made an assumption that the uh, magnets would sell at 10 bucks. They may or may not sell, but that's how I'm going to list them. For record keeping, four listings, 250. Let's put that up. Oh, let's not get all foggy, funky. <laughs> Get on the board here. Four, 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 two, fifty. <sighs> Turn it into a pretty good month. Four ninety two to go for today till we go on the trip. That's uh, let's see how dealer. <laughs> See how Wheeler recovered here. Dealer Wheeler, they're Very all good. So I uh, hear you uh, recovered, listed some things on your uh, yeah, some fancy your eBay. Watch pictures here. Schmanced them out. With the watch picture thing though, I'm actually learning how to take better product photos and like some of these cameras. So this one actually isn't as good as that one, but it's pretty good. Whoa, you don't like your G-Shock anymore? I'm just selling them all. I'm just going down to five watches. Five watches from how many? <sighs> Too many. I'm probably gonna keep like two or three of them in like a time capsule we're, somewhere. We're not even that. leaving for a year yet, man. You're I know it. You're going hardcore. Hardcore, huh? Yep. You're you're in. Yep, I'm in. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Looks like you recovered. That's good. Okay, what do we got? Let's see. Lots of orders packed, a couple orders listed. Long day, two days in one. Pretty sure tomorrow will be a day off. I've got a couple topics to choose from. I'm sure I'll, I'll have something. If the day goes weird, I may come in and list some stuff. I don't know. I'm all, i got to take a day off. I've got plenty of um, personal things to do around the house, etc. So we'll see if I get motivated and do any of those. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate all your comments and questions. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That always helps us put out more videos. Pick well, list often. Dealer out. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer Productions.